Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be my wife and her male orbiters. Just what you want to hear about. <laughs> so I've got an email. This is from a guy who, once again, a big part of this guy's problem is that he didn't follow instructions. Like a, the guys that send me the what seem to be the most troubled emails are the guys that just don't listen. They don't follow the instructions. I think he said he started following me uh, a couple years ago, but he's just strictly cherry pick videos, never bothered to read the book. And at the time he started following me, he was about a year in and dating his girlfriend, who's now his wife. Didn't learn the material. And he says after they were together a couple years, he got lazy, he got complacent, stopped courting and dating her properly. And to reward him for his laziness and his complacency, his wife has been inviting attention from her male, I guess apparently a couple of her male co-workers, at least the ones that he knows about. And so they've been arguing a lot. And the other day she mentioned divorce. And it's like he's been, because obviously he caught her the first time, goes through her phone, knows her password, look, looks up, sees all the messages going back and forth obviously gets upset she said she's going to stop she didn't stop and started again and now she's texting somebody else and then he noticed that she's actually deleting the flirty messages because she knows he's going through her phone it's like if you're a guy it's in a situation like this and you're going through your girl's phone don't let her know that you went through it it's like, so now that she knows he's going through her phone, she's deleting any incriminating evidence. So it makes it even harder to catch her. And so on top of that, he's told her it's okay if she messages one of these male orbiters of her. And it's, I, I mean, it, you're with this girl. I mean, part of the problem is she's 20 years old. And so they obviously started dating. He was 20 and she was 17 when they when they started dating, I'd wonder why, why is a 20 year old dating a 17 year old girl? I assume she's in high school when he started dating her, but at the end of the day, they're married. She's young. She's immature. Doesn't look like she's loyal at all. And it doesn't, you know, cause he's set healthy boundaries and she's violated him every time. So obviously she doesn't respect him or love him. And it does, if we look at her actions, it doesn't appear like she has any intention of honoring them. And then on top of that, now she's talking about a divorce, so it's pretty clear she's lining up a replacement. So this is a cautionary tale of why you want to read the book 15 to 20 times. It's because you got to learn this information so you can properly vet the women. And this guy didn't care because he's lazy, like a lot of dudes. Oh, I'm getting laid all the time. I don't need to read the book. I got plenty of info from the videos. And yet here he is three years later, after a year after marrying this girl, and she's already fucking around on him. So that's on him. But for those of us that are listening to this train wreck, we can learn from it so we don't make the same mistakes. Because for every one of these emails where a guy is doing stupid things like this dude is, you, you have the potential for tens of thousands of guys to avoid this situation altogether and go, man, I don't want to be like that dude Bob. So he says, hey coach, my name is Bob and I stumbled upon your work about two years ago, but my relationship always seemed to work itself out. So I never read your book. I thought I was special and different and I didn't need to read it. Basically what he's saying. Now I'm married and finding out that our problems may not work itself out this time. So he's basically like just, eh, well, I don't, I'm, if it's meant to be, it'll be, if it'll work out, it'll work out. Just eh, throw the shit against the wall. Maybe some of it'll stick. That's a hell of a way to approach your personal life. Just, oh, shucks. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's roll the dice. Whoosh. I picked up your book, and now I'm trying to read it to save, help me save my marriage, but I really could use some advice. He says, I'm a 23-year-old male, and I'm married to a 20-year-old female. My wife and I have been together for almost three years and married for one. When we started our relationship, I was very masculine in shape and knew what I wanted in life. However... I have grown complacent and have become lazy when courting her. That pretty much sums up about 99% of the dudes. They all do the same thing. He's about four months ago, I caught her hiding text from a male coworker. See, 
This is why you got to properly vet the women you're with. But as he says, he stopped. If you don't date and court your wife properly, eventually some other guy will. And here's case case of point, exactly what I talked about. She claimed she hid them because she knew I would get jealous and she has always been better at making guy friends. That should have been another red flag. A woman that has no girlfriends, that tells me she's very catty. And oftentimes those girls tend to try to rip off their girlfriend's boyfriends or they hit on their girlfriend's boyfriends. And so women that have a hard time making female friends tend to be ratchets. They tend to be not good, loyal people. If they only got guy friends, they're not really friends. He says, this is true. She has always had trouble making friends with girls, probably because she's disloyal and has probably done inappropriate things in, f- in the past with her girlfriends, boyfriends, or significant others. That's what's going on. It's not that she has a problem making with girls. It's just she's not a good person and she's got character flaws. And so girls don't want to be friends with her. Simple as that. He says, we argued it out. Well, men who understand women don't argue with them. But if you'd have read the book, you would have known that. He says, we argued it out, and she apologized profusely, so I thought we worked out this situation. Yeah, you were gullible enough to believe her apology. He says, since this fight, my self-esteem has dropped dramatically. I am constantly worried that she's going to leave me and starting stupid fights. I was like, well, that's not going to help your relationship. You're literally pushing her away. But the fact that she's being disloyal already, that's not your fault. That's her fault. And it's your fault for not vetting her properly and not following instructions, but you're married to her now. So it's like, you know, that, that ship has sailed. You're at the PNR, the point of no return. He says, in an effort to prevent her from leaving me, <laughs> control's an illusion, bro. I've been pushing her away without meaning to. And as she has grown distant, I have become crazy. Constantly trying to go through her phone. Obviously, this has not went over well with her. It's like, yeah, you're looking like a needy, insecure jackass. And at the end of the day, you could be the best boyfriend, best husband in the world. And if you're with a lying, cheating whore, she's going to cheat on you eventually when you slip up. So now you're getting to see what happens when her interest is low. She's not loyal. That's the bottom line. She doesn't value loyalty, monogamy, exclusivity. But again, because you didn't read the book, you didn't learn the material, you never took the time to vet her because as you said, you're just like, well, it'll just work out. It'll just be fine. So here you are. You have you get to now suffer with the consequences of your best thinking. He says, last week, I managed to find the password for her messenger. And after going through her messages, I noticed that she had been texting another guy from work. And he was obviously flirting with her. And this is the important point. He says, she did not... She did not flirt back with him. However, she did not discourage him either. Because it sounds like she's creating a Frankenstein boyfriend project. She's married to you. And I assume, at least she used to be sleeping with you. But the intimacy, the emotional intimacy that she's not getting from you because you guys are arguing and fighting all the time. And you're constantly going through her phone. Is that she's getting that attention and validation from her male coworker. He, sa- in, he says, that night, I went back through the messages and noticed she deleted the flirty messages. Ah, there you have it. So the bottom line is she's inviting the attention. She's encouraging. A loyal and a faithful woman say, no, I'm married. We have our share, share of problems, but I appreciate the interest, but I'm married. No, thank you. A good woman would do that. A ratchet would be like, hey, here's my number, and would be doing what this girl's doing. And again, this is who she was before he married her. But because he didn't properly vet her, you'd say he's stuck with her, but he's going to, you know, going through a divorce, it's going to be a very painful, expensive lesson for him. He says, next time I saw her, I confronted her about it. And once again, she apologized profusely. The apologies, obviously, because again, she's apologizing for getting caught doing the same thing that she promised she would no longer do. But yet she continued doing so if we bottom line her actions, she's a liar and she's a cheater and you can't trust anything she says. Love cannot exist where there is no trust. Character is destiny and this is who you married. He says, we came to an agreement that because they work together, they can still text. However, next time she notices them flirting, 
she would tell him to stop. And if it continued, she would block him. Yeah, $10 says that ain't ever going to happen. She's just telling you what you want to hear. There is absolutely no way in hell I would I would be okay with my wife texting with a male coworker, especially after the fact that dude's been hitting on her. It's like, that's just stupid. So you're encouraging her disloyalty. You, and so in other words, she likes the attention she gets from this guy and she wants to keep it happening. That's what's really going on. So probably they argued back and forth and she's gone out of her way to lie and convince this dude that it's strictly platonic. It'll be platonic until, oops, he slips and his dick ends up inside of her. Then it, it just happened. It just kind of happened. I couldn't say no. It just happened. He says, however, I fucked up. And then the next night while she was sleeping, I tried to get her phone and look at it again. And she caught me. <laughs> so James Bond-like. We talked today about it, and she mentioned that not me not trusting her hurts her. Well, it's like, what has she done to cause you to justify trusting her? Nothing. You've continually caught her in lies and deviousness. So you can't trust somebody who continually lies and who, who says they're going to stop, and then they continue doing it after they say they're going to stop. He says, and the, she mentioned the word divorce. So what's really going on is she's setting up the dudes that she's going to date and sleep with once she knows it's done with you. She says she doesn't want to divorce, but she has just been feeling like we aren't the same anymore. Well, you going through her phone and being crazy and jealous and trying to control her is not going to help. But at the end of the day, the thing you need to take a step back from and look at is the fact that she her actions do not communicate that she has the intention of being loyal to you. What her actions communicate is she just wants you to stop stressing her out about it. She wants to be able to proceed with lining these guys up behind your back. That's, that's what's really going on here. And I, it's obvious they're not the same anymore because long ago you stopped dating and courting her. He says, basically, it's been a real shit show. He says, what can I do to get her to fall back in love with me where she doesn't need the attention of these guys? Well, the other thing, I mean, number one, you got to read the book and you got to do, you got to follow the instructions, dude. I mean, seriously, it's like you got to participate in your own rescue. You didn't want to learn it when you came across my work. And now your wife is on the verge of having, looks like affairs with multiple women, multiple men that she works with. And you're trying to control her and going through her phone and then telling her it's okay to keep talking with these guys as long as it's just platonic. I mean, that's, it's like, come on, man. He says, I love her to death and don't want to lose her, but I'm tired of feeling this way. Well, I mean, if you look at her actions, she's kind of not really yours anyways. I mean, she's acting like a girl who's single. I mean, that's a fact of life. And so if it was me, I would say, look, you if if we're going to make this work, you're going to have to cut these guys out. There's like there's no way that we can stay married and you continue texting men who want to fuck you from work. And this crap about, oh, we're just going to be friends and it's going to be just strictly professional. That's bullshit. I've seen the text and the guy wants to fuck you and he's not going to stop wanting to fuck you. And every time you text and you engage with him, he thinks he's getting closer to fucking you. And the fact that you're inviting him to do this tells me that you want to fuck him or the other guy and so if that's what you want then i'm not going to stay married to you that's not going to work so you need to choose right now today in this moment you're either going to work on our marriage and work on a relationship and being loyal and faithful or you can pack your bags and you can leave and then you can go do whatever you want with these guys and i'm going to move on my life and i'm going to divorce you and then i'm going to find a girl that's loyal and faithful and so you either want to work it out or you don't. There's no thinking about it. There's none of that shit. It's like you're married to me. You made it a commitment and you either need to honor that commitment or you need to go. You need to boot these guys out of your life and never talk to them again. And if they keep harassing you, you need to go to your boss and tell them that these guys are hitting on you at work and then they'll get fired. If you want to prove to me that you're going to be a loyal woman and that you change and you're truly remorseful 
and apologetic, even though you've told me multiple times you're going to stop this behavior, and yet you've gone right back on your word and done it again, that tells me you're not capable of loyalty, you're not capable of monogamy, and you're not capable of being honest. And if that's who you are, you can't be my wife anymore. Simple as that. I'm done with you. I want you to pack your shit and get out of my house, and I don't ever want to see you again. And I let me know where to send service or process, and I'll send you the divorce papers. But I am not going to live on, in our family home while you are texting other men, especially men that want to fuck you, and expect me to think that you're going to keep it platonic with these dudes. It's like, how stupid do you think I am? It's just not going to happen. So if you want to keep texting them, then pack your shit and go. If you want to work our, on our relationship and work it out, then let's do it, and these guys are out of your life. And if they text you, you need to tell them. I want to watch you text them. You say, I'm going to work on my marriage, and I don't want you texting anymore. And if you do, I'm going to go to Human Resources. I'm going to let them know that you're sexually harassing me. If she wants to prove to you that she's going to be loyal, she'll say something along those lines to these guys to let them know if they keep hitting her up that she's going to go to their boss and say, these guys are hitting on me. I'm having problems with my husband, and they're trying to get in my fucking pants, and I don't want to be sexually harassed at work. And then those dudes will get fired. That's what that's simply what will happen. And so if she's not willing to do that, if she's not willing to take it to that extreme, then that what that really means is her actions are is like she wants to keep these guys in her life. And if she wants to keep these guys in her life, then she needs to go. It's as simple as that. She needs them. It's a binary choice at this point, dude. You are way too far down the road. This is not. You know, the right time to get into my work was when you came across it and learned this stuff. But you flew blind. You went ahead and married the girl anyways. I don't think she's capable of loyalty and monogamy. I've been doing this a long time. But in this particular case, is like this warrants the ultimatum. She chooses you and the family that you guys are supposedly building together or she's going to choose to fuck her male coworkers. If she wants to prove that she's going to be loyal and faithful to you, she's going to blow these guys up in text and show it to you. Just something simple saying, hey, it's not appropriate for you to text me anymore. I'm working on my marriage. And if you continue to text me, I'm going to have to go to human resources and let the boss know that you're sexually harassing me. And it's like it needs to stop. I'm, I want to be loyal and faithful to my husband. And I'm committing to him to do this. And you need to promise to leave me alone. And if you don't, then you're going to get fired. I'm going to go to human resources and tell them that you're sexually harassing me. And if she's not willing to say those things and blow that relationship up with these other guys, then that tells you everything you need to know. That tells you that she has every intention of pursuing something romantic with the other guys. Because if you tell her that and she says it's unreasonable, their coworkers, their friends, pfft, that just shows she has no intention of being loyal and faithful to you. And if she doesn't have any intention of being loyal and faithful to you, that's on her. It's not on you. That, that's her. We're, we're so far down the road here. You married a woman who pretty much looks like she belongs to the streets. I don't see any coming back from this. I don't see her really changing. All I see her doing is hiding it until she thinks she's comfortable, and then she'll slip up again as soon as you slip up. I mean, that's, that's basically where you're at. I don't think it's going to work out because I don't think she's capable. I mean, she's 20 years old. She's obviously young, and she's immature, and she's inexperienced but you didn't vet this girl properly because you didn't follow instructions you're, you're just right now you're in a place where you have to deal with the consequences and so again ultimatum with her and these guys and it's if she's not willing to blow them out of, out of her life in order to prove her loyalty to you then she's a fucking hoe and she needs to go on down the road simple as that so if you got a question or a challenge and you'd like to get my help, go to understandrelationships.com, click the products tab at the top of your screen, and book a coaching session with yours truly. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.